The idea of self-sufficiency and self-sufficiency courses began with John Seymour quite a long time ago, 1976. And the reason John decided to work in this way was because it seemed hopeless to try and find political solutions to the world's problems from the top down. These problems were much too big. It was impossible to reach solutions that way, so it seemed much better to try and find ways in which ordinary people could change their lives to make the world a better place for living. That's where self-sufficiency began. When I teach the courses today, which is a long time since we started, I've been doing it for 27 years, there are two different aspects to the course. One is the original idea that we can change the world by changing individual lifestyles. And the second is simply to help individuals who know they want to make a life change to make that transition effectively. If you're a bank manager or an IT specialist and you suddenly want to grow your own food, get out of the rat race, it's not very easy to find a way to learn to, cook, to uh, keep chickens or to grow lettuces except by going on a course of the kind that we've, we, we, we provide. So there are two aspects to it. One is the philosophical aspect of changing the world by changing individuals' behaviour and the other is simply to help individuals make the transition from the rat race, the wage slavery, into a freer way of life where they have control of their own time. Human beings are very clever and they have devised many technical answers to most of the survival problems we have on this planet. We have all the resources we need, we have all the techniques we need to live wonderful lives. But the obsession with consumerism, with constant growth, with an extractive economy which depends on taking from nature all the time, without any care for the future, this is not going to produce a comfortable way of life. So we need to be much more respectful of nature, to be aware of nature, to be aware of the fact that we are part of nature and that every blade of grass is part of us just like our fingernails. Until we reach that level of spiritual awareness, uh, humanity is going to have a very rough ride. Uh, people often ask, what do you do? What happens on a self-sufficiency course? And this is not an easy question to answer. We found from the very beginning that we wanted people to have some direct experience, not just of growing plants or harvesting fruit, but of the way we live and the values that we have. And this includes the walks we go on, the picnics we have, the music we play, the people we meet, the games we play, the way we live and we found that the students as we call them they may be important business people they may be housewives they may be teachers policemen they will come on a course and they stay together five or six people in a house on their own at night with plenty of nice wine and food and they have a chance to share their experience this is a, a, an extraordinary uh, personal experience for many people to find other people with similar interests at the same time as they're all experiencing new activities they've never done before and hopefully being exposed to ideas they may not have thought about before, books they didn't know about or films or YouTube videos. So there's a huge range of new things people are exposed to on our courses, which together can make it a really extraordinary life-changing experience for them. And each person will take away a different thing from each course. Many of our students make lifetime friends with the other students they meet on our courses. Um, it's difficult to put into words, really, this human experience, this hands-on experience of, of being involved with a different way of life for six whole days.